This is the second part about the points where the functions are not differentiable. If a function has a vertical tangent line at a point, in this case, the function is not differentiable at, the, at this point. Assume that we have x, y axis and let me draw the x, y axis here. Okay. And the line y equals x to the power 1 over 3. x to the power 1 over 3 is something like this y equals x to the power 1 over 3 okay so the tangent line the tangent lines become steeper and steeper as x approaches to the point zero the curve this curve has a vertical tangent line at the point zero zero okay so this is why the function f is not differentiable as zero zero so it is the second case for the points where the functions are not differentiable so if a function has a vertical tangent line at a point it means it does not have a slope at the given point so it if it's not if it has not a slope it means it has not a def it has not a derivative at the given point it is the second type of this uh, not differentiability okay so the third part is very important the third part is also very important what is the third part let me give the third part by a theorem okay if f if f is differentiable actually this theorem gives a relation between continuity and differentiability if a function is not continuous then it's not differentiable if a function is not continuous it's not differentiable if f is differentiable 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 at a point a let's say at x equals a then then this f is continuous continuous at x equals a so differentiability implies implies continuity but not vice versa if a function is not continuous then it's not differentiable of course the proof of this theorem is based on the formal definition of derivative let me give the proof of this theorem the given information is that f is differentiable at x equals a it is the given information f is differentiable at the point a if f is differentiable at the point a derivative of a which is expressed by limit formula when let me use the other definition of limit formula x equals a x uh, goes to a okay f of x i use the second formula of formal definition of derivative f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a this limit must exist okay by this statement since f is differentiable at a to connect the given and the unknown we divide and multiply this expression by f of x minus f of a by x minus a so i mean f of x minus f of a of course is equal to f of x minus f of a I multiply this statement by x minus a and divide by x minus a then we can write that very nice connection 
limit limit when x tends to a f of x minus f of a I take the limit of limit of each size of this equality okay is equal to limit when x tends to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a this part okay times limit of x minus a when x approaches to the point a so of course this is equal to zero f prime of a since this is the derivative formula this is derivative formula of f at the point a times zero when x tends to a this is zero becomes zero so what do we have finally what do we have when limit x approach to the point a f of x is equal to f of a do you remember this formula do you remember this formula from the continuity yes it is a definition of continuity if we have a limit for a given function at the given point and if the limit value is equal to the value of f at the given point it means the function is continuous at the given point and it is the it is a definition of continuity for a function f at the given point a so differentiability implies continuity okay if f is differentiable then it is continuous of course the converse of this theorem is of course false the continuity of f does not assure that does not assure the existence of derivative for example consider the absolute value function consider the absolute value function or modulus function x this function as you remember is not continuous is not continuous at x equals zero but it is not continuous it is i am sorry it is continuous at x equals zero not uh, not differentiable very sorry absolute value function is continuous at x x equals zero but not differentiable remember the formula the, the graph of uh, absolute value function this is the graph of absolute value function when you approach from right and left to the point zero the limit exists and the value of limit is equal to the value of function at the point zero this is why it is continuous but it is not differentiable since derivative from left and right is not equal to each other